Hello, this is Marla with AABC Vacuum, and I'm here with Jay with iRobot, and he's going to tell us a little bit about some of the products that are available. Okay, uh, thank you. Appreciate you guys coming by. Um, so I'll just kind of walk you through a little bit of the lineup here. Uh, so we have uh, kind of the core product within the iRobot line is our robot products. It's our, our robotic vacuums. Uh, so we start out with our 600 series. Uh, and then you can step up and actually 600, 700. We even have a new 800 series of robots that's available. So you're talking anywhere between a 350 to a $700 investment you know, based on what the, uh, the features are that are included in those robots. So with the, the number 650, this is kind of our, our entry level series. It is a step up within the series, but it does have scheduling built into it. Um, but it has really um, a tremendous amount of intelligence built into it. All of the robots that are coming with this, it makes 60 decisions a second. Wow. Uh, yeah, so more than me. Way more than me. One, I barely make 60 decisions in a day. <laughs> Uh, but it really it seem, may seem like it's going around your room in a very random pattern, but it's, made, it's doing it basically to discover the two as it goes and to be able to pick up and be able to do um, you know, the best job possible to going out and covering the front. Um, so it does have you know, the like aeroback technology that's built into it, uh, our ISAC technology that allows it to, uh, to navigate the basic system and the system decisions. Uh, it has four inches of filters, uh, paper filters. Uh, set up. So, uh, when you step into the 700 series product, some of the differences are uh, changes the filtration to the heavy filters. So, it's a little better for our taxes, a little bit better for the uh, air. Slightly larger bin. You can see it's the dual HEPA uh, situated setup that we have. Uh, additionally, uh, within, there's so many different sensors that are built into these products. Not run off of the we have a set up here, I'll show you in just a second. If you don't want to go, you know, besides if you don't go over your stairs and we'll go right. off the lane. There's, there's like a gas, but then it, it doesn't go over and you're like, okay, it's fine. Absolutely, absolutely. It's amazing to watch me in a demonstration type situation where everybody gets a little nervous, you know, it's gonna go or not. It's got cliff detection technology okay. built into it. Um, the differences between the 600 and 700 series, you have dirt detect one in the 600 series. Okay. That is, it's an acoustic sensor that's built in. So just as if you're vacuuming with a traditional vacuum, and you're spending some time and you hear some uh, going over some goldfish cracking or something that the kids left by, you hear it kind of hitting and like, picking up and hitting that drum, okay. you spend a little bit more time here. Okay. The robot does that on its own, so it will recognize that noise and it spends some more time. With the 700 series, you actually get to do dirt detection too. So not only does it have an audio sense, okay, so with the, the 700 series, with the step up, you actually get dirt detection too built into that. Which not only has the acoustic sensor, but also the uh, visual sensor as well. So something like uh, dog hair, cat hair, that's not going to make that noise. But it'll actually recognize that the uh, air is there and it'll spend more time just like it would. So is that among some of the 60 decisions that it's making? Is, am I saving on those crackers? Am I saving on yeah, you know, something that I need to spend more time on? Absolutely. So, am I coming up to a, a solid wall, or am I coming up to a bed skirt that I'll be able to recognize that and we'll pass that barrier oh, and wow. go underneath your bed, okay. go underneath your couch, and so get underneath that furniture? So, what kind of technology is that that knows when to stop and when to pass through the curtain? So, it's all built into this uh, IADAP technology. So, there's a, a tremendous amount of you know, uh, there's algorithms and the uh, almost, almost 12 years of advancements within the Roomba line that kind of to develop over time. Uh, we have a company of engineers that are constantly working on not only upgrading the existing products, but working on new and innovative technology. So I mentioned 800 series of Roomba before, we just announced it in November this year, now for this past year. Uh, really completely redesigned the back of the robotic back from the ground up. So you know, if you think about the traditional Roomba, this is the Roomba 770 here. And really, Hundred years of vacuums. There's always the bristles on the brush. You know, it's always part of an integral part of the, uh, the cleaning process. Right. But what happens with that is that it always gets tangled. You, know, you get hair. You get, um, you get pet hair. Uh, you get uh, you have kids. My wife has long hair. Obviously, I don't have a problem. With it. <laughs> um, you know, it, it is. It requires some additional maintenance. But what also happens is because. Um, 
of the bristles, you actually have uh, more room for the airflow to disperse. And so kind of, it's not quite as powerful as it could be. Right. The, uh, the new Roomba 880 that was just introduced is actually an entirely new system of uh, brushless extractors. So it's two um, uh, more squeegee type you know, designed uh, extractors okay. that basically are, are much closer together. And it's uh, a new technology called Aeroforce technology that focuses the uh, funnel of the, of the air and, and generates five times more power wow. and about 50% more pickup rate for the basic nutrition program. So wow. the engineers are constantly working on the next technology, the next thing to be able to kind of take to the, uh, to the next level. And what's this little piece? Because I always was kind of curious. Yeah, so we have, I mean, it's a, a spinning side So everybody always looks at the remote. It's a circle. Right. right. So how does it get into the corners? How does it get up against the walls? Right. So that the spinning side burst, what it does is part of that 66 uh, decisions a second, it recognizes the wall, it goes and runs along the, uh, the wall and follows it in that technology. Okay. And the side burst just pulls out the debris from the, uh, the wall and into the corner and pulls it right back into the, uh, you know, the panel of the, uh, the robot. Okay. Great. And tell us about this new one that I definitely have not seen yet. So this is actually um, our Bravo. So um, it's, this is the, the Bravo 380T version. We have two different uh, models. We have the 320, which is a $200 uh, price point, and the 380T, which is the which is a $300 price point. Okay. Um, what this is is essentially it's a uh, floor mopping robot as opposed to a floor uh, vacuuming robot like the Roomba. Okay. Uh, so if you, you know, in the simplest terms, if you look at that, it's a robotic script. Okay. So what, what it is, it has a Pad on the bottom. You can do it either dry or wet, uh, and all you simply do is basically turn it on, tell it to go, and you tell it if, it's, if you're doing dry or wet, you know, mop it, and you go ahead, follow a little bit more of a methodical pattern going across the floor, and then the Roomba, which follows a much more random pattern, but essentially getting the same coverage, which is you know, nearly 100% of your Kind of the same action as if you were sweeping? Exactly. If it had a stick, you would actually be Right. Kind of so if thing. you were doing that with dry mopping mode is going to be more of a straight line back and forth, okay. which is kind of how you're going to do it. Okay. In the wet mopping mode, it'll actually follow that kind of like you said, on the back and forth, you're going to make that little like V or Y pattern as, right. you, as you go just to kind of dig in a little bit deeper. So how does it go from dry to wet? All you do, you just tell the robot what you want to do. So you okay. have to just simply three uh, buttons on the, uh, on the top of the robot here, okay. you turn it on, and then you tell it either wet with the uh, little drop here, or okay. you tell it uh, dry with the uh, Okay. So basically, if you wanted to say the, uh, the wet mopping mode, you just hit that, it's not going to do it because it's going to be my hand. Okay. So now it knows it's doing the wet mopping mode. It goes back, it goes back. Okay. So can you put the liquid inside it then? Okay. So basically, how that works with the 380T model, which is the step up model that I talked about, okay. it does come with two additional features as the base model is now. Okay. One of which is the propane reservoir. Okay. Which is exactly what you're talking about. Okay. It has a fill cap. Basically okay. you just pour the water, the water a little bit of solution in here. Okay. There's a wick that's set in the uh, in the inset here. Okay. So what it does is it actually slowly disperses the water throughout the cleaning process and you have a um, you know a nice damp surface okay. coming off the floor. Okay. The other feature that the creative team has uh, is that it has a separate model as a turbo uh, charging crane. So basically, it only takes two hours to do it. You just pop it right on top of the crane and okay. it charges up. Oh, so within two hours, it's completely charged. Okay. Well, let's see if you can just have you can take a peek at this one and watch it run. Sure. Watch it get close to the edge. And okay, so, are you really part of the design of these products is just to uh, be extremely simple and to be able to be. So, we have the option uh, to see the model when you're looking at the Roomba 770 here. There is scheduling built into it, so it actually knows what day and time it is. You can set it ahead of time to go run when you're out of the house, when you're, you know, when you're sleeping, you know, whenever it's preferable to you. Right. Or, very simply, you just pull it down and you hit the clean button. Just to turn it on, hit the clean button again just to start. So, right now, what's doing is just kind of uh, getting a gauge for the, uh, for the environment. Um, you have 
several different accessories that come along, like, depending on the contest that you get. Uh, so there's two things that are called virtual wall. So if you have a very large group, or if you have some place that you just don't want to go to the back of your you basically just set up a virtual wall, which is just a small device that uh, meets an individual uh, ID, and basically establishes the wall as a barrier. It's something that it'll recognize as a barrier. So you see there, it will play up to the side, it will recognize it, and turn it around basically, it has the sensors on the knee, and it will turn it on and it will turn it on. Right, my heart still skipped a beat, I was worried. It's a great live demonstration. Well, thank you, Jay, for showing us some really cool products that you have, and we look forward to seeing the 800. Yes, the 880. The 880. Great. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.